Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's your buddy Isaac. We're getting ready to react to Brendan Herrera's testing the assassination attempt on of Donald Trump. Now, he's done a lot of these, actually. He's done RJFK. He's done Martin Luther King. All of these guys. Uh, Shinzo Abe, former prime minister for Japan. And this has been done to try and clarify some of the misconceptions and ideas that has been going around the assassination attempt on Trump. 13th, 2024, Love an attempt was made on the life of the 45th president of the United States I'm and potentially 47, Donald Trump. The thankfully yep, failed happened. assassin uh, fired a handful of bullets from an AR-15 off of a nearby rooftop, one of which nicking the president in his right ear. But, which I do find it funny that they're, they were saying, oh, well, we couldn't protect that roof because it was too slow, but they have had snipers on more sloped, sloped roofs. And by the way, there was like a ton of police underneath the damn thing, and nobody came out to see, huh, what is that noise on the damn roof? The Secret Service was then able to retaliate like, with one of their snipers, on ending the threat at about 3,200 feet per second. But while this assassination attempt dude. was unsuccessful, it started a whole host of conspiracy theories on the internet and it raised a lot of questions, really, about ballistics, amongst other things. So given that recreating historical assassinations is something that we do quite a lot on the channel, yeah, we, do. <laughs> we figured that we might be able to shed some light on some of these subjects that are currently in heavy debate in the ballistics of the situation. Now, this is the first time we've ever tackled a situation like this where the person in question is still alive, not only still alive, but still actively running for president. But I do think we have the capability to add a lot of productive data to the Which conversation in an educational his, uh, manner, while also giving the situation the seriousness and respect that I think well, the, it uh, running for president part. At least as much as we're capable. Alive. So there's three main so. things that I want to hit address today. First two are demonstrations to kind of dispel a lot of conspiracy the theories right I've now. And the third is for fun. The first is showing how a shot like this is not only difficult to stage, but given the equipment, pretty much damn well impossible. The second is to address yeah. the internet armchair experts who think that an AR-15 is... I mean, just disclosure, I've seen this before. But also the fact that, you know, I grew up around the military... Um, my, on my mom's side, both of her, her dads, cause both my parents, on my dad and my mother's side, both parents like divorced and remarried. One grandpa was Marine. The other was Navy. My dad served 20 years in the Air Force. I've been around a while. <laughs> been around military and guns a few times. My dad kind of taught me how to shoot a rifle when I was a kid. Don't know if I actually hit anything, but I did did actually get taught how to shoot a rifle. Back in, uh, when I used to live in Wyoming, we had like 40 acres. We had just this mountain of dirt that they had just moved to one side because we had built our home into the hill. So the old man, you know, brought me next to a log, gave me a, I think it was like a 22, not a very high caliber rifle, you know. Freaking nine, eight year old, not gonna hand him something like a freaking 40 gauge or anything like that. No, no, <laughs> actually, they don't make 40 gauge. Like, what am I talking about? 40 out six or something, basically. But, uh, I do remember I was scared to shit because he was trying to tell me, squeeze the trigger, don't pull it, squeeze the trigger, and I just and then the whole thing just jumped, and I was I'm like, ah! <laughs> I did not shoot more rounds, and thankfully there was nothing, you know, other than the bottle to be shot at. So we're good. <laughs> so deadly that even a shot on the ear would have been an instant kill, and that it was faked with blood packets, or... What do people think are in AR-15s? Bolter rounds from Warhammer 40k? Do you, you think these things are firing rocket-propelled grenades? <laughs> by, by the way, if you're not a 40K fan, that's a bolter is the standard weapon for, like, the super soldiers of Warhammer 40K. And the round is literally a depleted uranium-tipped self-propelled rocket 
that when it hits the person, it explodes internally. So, is that what people are thinking these things are firing? They're firing like 5.56 at most. You know, that's not powerful enough around to like cause someone's head to explode just by grazing them. Unless that motherfucker was using explosive rounds, which it's pretty obvious he wasn't. Um, and by the way, getting those would be even really fucking hard because of the fact that uh, you can't exactly get explosive rounds at Walmart or any gun store that I'm aware of. Like, that's something you would have to have some black market ties to get a hold of. Fucking aliens, I don't know. So we're going to replicate the shot on the ear to show those. exactly what happens in that situation. Now, the third thing, <laughs> just because I think it's really cool, we're going to be replicating the return shot. That is a sexy, sexy gun. I want one. <laughs> on the shooter from the Secret Service been sniper rifle. Like, we didn't have to do this, but to be honest, <laughs> I like the old-fashioned movies where the bad guy gets his comeuppance at the end. So I feel like it's My a pretty good kind. finale. And it's going to look hella good in slow motion. And as always, when we do a spicier video like this, uh, my friends are more than willing to help. <laughs> my career. I don't know why the fuck. Shooting guns with the boys. They wanted to be associated with this one, but they volunteered anyway, so it should be a fun day. Damn. I mean, it's rendered in This rare, is so the I'm AR-15. Good. As you can tell, very effective weapon. This particular iteration is a semi-automatic civilian legal version. This one in particular is kind of more of a budget gun with an optic mounted slightly too far. Yeah. I mean, they're not really scary. I mean, not scary to me, but that's, again, I'm used to being around that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, like any gun, any weapon can be a danger, but that's why you're supposed to practice firearm safety, right? You're not supposed to point it at anything that you're not willing to destroy. You're supposed to treat every firearm as though it's loaded, even if you don't think it is. You're always supposed to make sure the safety's on, all that stuff. Bare bones basics. I think I did a short one time where I literally showed people like the toy guns that I have that are... Um, where people... that it, This is what gets me is that people are literally sticking them in their crotch area. Like <laughs> underneath the belt and I'm like... One missed pull of the trigger and with your safety off and your um you ain't having kids no more. Right? Because even if you practice safe gun safety, like we're all human, we screw up. All it takes is one oops, I forgot to put the safety and pull the trigger, and suddenly uh the boys are gone, pretty much. That's why you're supposed to put it on a holster next to your hip or behind you. Lend a lot easier to heal if, you know, something grazes your hips or your butt. Not the, the boys and any kind of projectile shooting object should not be near each other. Or forward, which <laughs> is exactly saying. what it looked like the shooter had as well. Now, to a competent person, making a shot on a target that is man-sized at about 130, 150 yards, not that difficult. Pretty much any experienced shooter can do that on their bad day. That's also assuming that the average competent shooter has one thing that the would-be assassin did not. More muscle mass than a seventh grade cheerleader. Wouldn't it be crazy if freaking ads. But also to add to Brandon Herrera's thing, like the dude was obviously not a competent shooter because he fired eight times. Right? So then it is definitely someone that does not know how to, A, thankfully does not know how to hit a moving target, and B, you know, is very not competent in what they were doing, considering that they brought a red dot sight to fire at a target at that distance at a very small target, because trying to aim for the head at any distance is difficult to start with. Especially since heads are constantly moving. Same thing with like legs or anything else. That's why professional snipers, military snipers, and police are taught to aim for the chest, center of mass. Not only is there a ton of like vital stuff here, 
but it's a hell of a lot easier to hit. And again, I'm not condoning what this idiot did. I'm, I think he's a moron. I'm not using his name just like Brandon Herrera here isn't using his name because fuck making these people famous. Um, sympathy to the firefighter who did get killed, who was hit by this bullet trying to protect his family from this idiot. Um, anyway, give me a second while I clear out this ad and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry it took me a while. Uh, when I went to try and deal with the ad, I realized it was almost time for me to go to work, so I didn't run up to work. And I got back, usually I come home for my lunch, and I was like, okay, cool, I'm just going to sit down, finish this up. And of course, it lightning storms the whole time. So, there you go. <laughs> Fun times. Anyway, I'm back, guys. I'm going to try and finish up this video as best I can. Uh, let's continue. Internet experts are trying to claim is that it was an inside job, it was staged, and that the shooter very intentionally only hit him in the ear to, you know, boost his ratings and such. Now, with the shooter using an even worse AR-15, it was like an old DPMS, which is just pretty garbage tier, to be honest, <laughs> and a red dot with no magnification. I'm going to show you exactly what that shot would have looked like from the shooter's perspective, and then you can judge for yourself how easy that shot would have been to stage. So we have our stand-in ballistic dummy target here, and we are going to walk back and pace out about 130 yards. It was between, I believe, 130 to 150 yards is where the shot was taken. Let's go on the inside of that and do 130, just to give the most benefit of the doubt here. And the fact, like the fact that this dude is able to get that close with a rifle, ladder, and everything else, yeah, there's little wonder why people are like, this seems like it's a staged, um, not, not staged is the inappropriate word, um, a, something that was attempted through, like, government agencies and stuff, because you have so much stuff that's just, coincidentally, just conveniently went wrong, basically. For context. This is approximately 130 yards. See what that looks like down <laughs> the So we were just back there at like 130 yards trying to get that through the dot. Would any of you stand at 130 yards and let me take a shot on, on your ear? I wouldn't yes. let you do that at two yards. I, <laughs> I mean, dude, smart. Trust well, that's just because you're a pussy. Because the other thing that, like, trying to explain to people on the internet, especially the experts on Twitter, they don't understand, like, MOA. So, like, when you have a, a garbage tier AR-15, that's, you know, a DPS. And by the way, yeah, what they're talking about with MOA is that the weight of the bullet, as it's flying through the air, affects the trajectory of the bullet. So... And especially if you play any games like uh, Sniper Elite at all, they do simulate that. That's why, you know, when you're doing a sniper, you have to, like, try and count for wind speed and all that stuff. So, basically, a lot of these people, he's saying, like, they're not paying attention to any of that. They, they're just like, oh... They just seem to think that a bullet just flies straight through. It's like, no, eventually the bullet starts losing momentum, especially the heavier and bigger the round is. MS from fucking 15 years ago that was his dad's gun. You're doing like a two to three at MOA. So three inches, let's say, at 100 yards. Some would say too much. Three inches at 100 yards is now at 150. That's four and a half inches difference. Mm -hmm. You know what's suspiciously four and a half inches to the left of your right ear? Well, wait, which way? There's air. <laughs> you absolutely, like, this dot covered a good chunk of the head at that distance, at 130. Yeah, no bipod, uh, super elevated heart rate, no magnification. So people are, a lot of people were saying, like, well, yeah, you could just zoom in a scope like Call of Duty, huh? No, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me while I laugh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bro. 
Bro, when you start trying to use Call of Duty as a reference for firearms, you have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, oh. no. I have your nails. I have your nails, but. Okay. Yeah, I'm not hurting him, by the way. Meow. It's in here, Fluffy. You don't sit there and meow at me for attention and then run away. You will be given attention. Deal with it. Mm. Now you get to sit in my arms while we're watching this video. I don't care. Suck it up, cat. No. Mm. It's not a scope, this is not like a fucking sniper weapon. This right here is a one magnification, so it's zero mag. It's literally just looking through a piece of glass with a dot on it. So yeah, now hopefully you have a better idea of why saying that the earshot was specifically staged using that setup at like 150 yards is just fucking stupid, frankly. But speaking of fucking stupid, there's another hole? conspiracy yeah. theory that of mm. course Trump was not hit by a bullet because bullets you know, expand and they have, uh, you know, a crazy temporary cavity and it would have taken his whole head off and all sorts of shit. And he was hit by flying glass that came from fucking, I don't know, it's Twitter. So we're gonna recreate to the best of our ability. Yeah. Actually, uh, somebody that that plays tabletop RPGs with us said, oh, it was just, it, it was glass from the projectile. It was like, no, it was an actual the bullet. half of the bullet going through a small strip of flesh, the ear here, and show exactly what that would do to a human ear. Now, in order to actually capture the bullet as it's grazing through the ear, we would need some serious high speed. Maybe even ballistic high speed. Did someone say high speed? I don't know why they keep doing that. Why did you invite us, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a bit or something. I don't. So All right. All right. Commercial, one second. Boy, does YouTube like to act like it's broke. <laughs> Makes 25... All right, we're back. <laughs> thousand frames per second. That should be plenty enough to catch a bullet like that because oh, it's yeah, traveling yeah. at, what, 3,000 feet a second? Mm -hmm. Roughly. Yep. So this yeah. will slow down time three to 4,000 times slower than normal. Perfect. Well, let's get to it. Just imagine the level of camera tech that that takes to be able to do that. Guess let's, let's do it. it. Now, we don't really care about distance on this one since, I mean, the ballistics are going to be negligible. If anything, closer distance should do more damage. So if this just rips right through yep. the ear like it did in real life, then that should uh, definitively prove are, it. So let's, uh, I just want to make sure we get the most velocity. accurate shot possible. Firing. Did I see a jiggle? Did you? Mm. Oh, I barely clipped the ear. I clipped it right on the side, not on the top. I clipped him, uh, like, right there in the middle. We're gonna have to look for, like, a vibration. Oh, yep, there it was. Like, that is very close. Oh, you definitely grazed the ear. Oh, yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. That was, like, edge of the bullet. In yeah, the I know. Yeah. That was... I think we could get closer. Yeah, so I think he actually got hit right up here. Okay. Uh, the bullet impact was right there. You could see where it just grazed the very edge of like the middle of his ear. Oh, but no. we're gonna try to go for the meat. Okay. What I find the most interesting is that the whole head is still there. That's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I thought it would have disappeared. Firing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, I think that was it. Oh yeah, that was the fucking money shot right there. That's a perfect sim nice. there. How's his head still connected? I don't know. This we is crazy. I don't out. think a bullet actually hit him. Like his neck's not huh. broken. I don't. Where, Where did he get the glass? I'm cutters? taking ballistic out of my know. name because I clearly don't understand them. Oh, oh that oh, was oh, fucking oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Piercing. <laughs> Yo, dude, that's wild. What they say? Don't get your uh, ears pierced at Claire's. Bro. Okay. So, hang on. Just so you guys can see for yourselves what they're looking at here. That right there is the ear. Right? Holy cow. No wonder he was wearing a bandage like that. That is like if somebody gave you an instant uh, 30 gauge ear piercing. Like, holy crap. When Trump said it felt like he got flash. hit by something, you can see. <laughs> 
Like, yeah. Uh, See the vibration. No it feel like someone kind of slapped you on yeah. the ear. I, I was just going to say, I'm actually personally surprised uh, that it had that much uh, temporary cavity, that much expansion. Yeah, that's But notice how huge. the head is still there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you play it all in full speed, it's like, well, that's very unfucking impressive. Right. But <laughs> I mean, everybody's making fun of his ear bandage in his speech, saying like, oh, he's wearing a big bandage for sympathy or whatever. You just saw his <laughs> ear explode from <laughs> cavitation from getting hit by a gun. Like, yeah, right. it looked okay because I, I know he was golfing the next day. Which mm. talk about fucking Chad energy right there. I mean, I mean Evander Holyfield finished the right. round. So I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, to be fair. <laughs> You got, uh, you know, assassination attempt at eight, but you've got a tea time at 9 a.m. Like, yeah, what you gonna do? A lot of people talk about how Trump turned his head at the last minute, and that's what saved his life. And it's really easy to see. Like, there's graphics and shit of it, but now that we have a, a ballistic dummy here, you can actually plainly see the trajectory the bullet took to go through the ear the way that it did. If his head was tilted the way that it was before he went to go look at that graph, it's hitting a lot of, you know, Important the really bits. important lizard brain stuff that makes you, uh, you know, continue to breathe. So him turning his head at the last minute got a lot of the vital part of his brain out of the way of that bullet, which is just, I mean, talk about luck. We might be having a We're very different conversation had that not been the case. I don't want to hide from them anymore. Mm -hmm. Gotta get out of the air. Uh, that is what would All qualify right. as too soon. Uh, interesting Nicholas Cage Speaking horror of too movie soon, you want to gang the shooter? Oh, God, uh, yes. So now let's talk about something that the Secret Service would have been using to take out the nameless nerd and virgin. The this right gun. here is an Accuracy <laughs> International 300 win bag. Accuracy arms. International was like the Lamborghini of bolt guns as far as like not getting something yeah. stupid custom done. Very, very nice rifle. I actually, okay. yeah. I've been shooting this setup a little bit this last couple days. Fucking amazing gun. Better be, because they're like 15 grand. Got our 300 Win Mag Spicy Boys right here. Gonna load it on up. Keep the bolts open though for now. Got a Badger Ordnance Scope Mount with a Night Force ATAC Scope. Topped off with an RRS tripod. These things are very expensive and very nice. I've never really shot with one before the last couple days, and it is amazing. It's really like cheating. Now I know how they were able to pop that shot off so quick and so accurately after the first round was fired. It's so a funny story, I bought this whole setup from uh, EuroOptic and I was not paying very close attention because I knew I needed to get this video out quickly. So I was in a rush, I bought an Accuracy International bolt gun and I didn't realize I bought the wrong one. I bought one with a left-handed bolt, not super useful to a right-handed shooter like me. I called up EuroOptic, told them the situation, I got somebody on the phone in like 30 minutes, they helped me out. Not because I had a contact there, I was a random customer who spent my own money on this gun and I fucked up. Their shipping guys got it squared away right off the bat and I had it in time for the video. Then we That right there is actual good customer service. Like that's how you should do it. None of this run around BS crap. Like actual good customer service. That's how you get repeat customers. Take note, most of American corporations that are all seem to be run by idiots. <laughs> we told them what we were doing with the video and they wanted to be a part of it, so they actually ended up sending us out this tripod and really just hooking us up. So we, we really appreciate EuroOptic for not only just having a great customer service experience, like genuinely, it was I was impressed, but also just for a genuinely good customer service experience and for helping us get all this stuff out here in time to film this video. So we really appreciate EuroOptic for helping us out with this. Show them some love, please. Now, uh... I wish. You want to see somebody's no head pop? Yeah. POV, you see this popping up over a slanty roof. So now the fun part, we're going to replicate the shot that Secret Service took on the would-be assassin here. Not 100% clear, judging by some of the photos that I've seen, exactly where he was shot and where it exited. So I'm gonna take some creative liberty. I know he was shot in the head. So now we're gonna see in about 100,000 frames per second exactly what was going through his head. <laughs> see, he kind of looks like Harry Potter now that I think about it. Why is his teeth so straight? Yeah, <laughs> his teeth what? are kind of straight. And... What is that, a jaw? <laughs> this isn't accurate. <laughs> I need to kind of carve some of that away, make it a little flatter down here. Kind of concave his head in a little bit. Okay, okay, I, I get it. It was private doofus face. Can we go move on? Don't worry, we'll do that part actually in here in a second. Yeah, I think the I think the 300 wind mag will take good care of him. Godspeed, <laughs> little asshole. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this shot. Firing. Three, two, one. Bro, <laughs> dude. I think we hit him. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say you did. 
You, you definitely got him. <laughs> wow. Hi, Katie. Holy mm. shit. That is violent. There is nothing left of that thing's head. <laughs> There's nothing left of it. <laughs> That's graphic. His brain. His brain's laying on the ground back here. Oh, that looks more like his jawline. Bet you <laughs> won't do that again. Dude, that is genuinely like a fucking 3,200 feet per second uh, decapitation. That's, oh, he I, fell down. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> right, a loud uh, noise was heard and he fell. Wait till you see this. <laughs> All right. Based on how fucking cool it looked 150 yards away, it's gonna look pretty cool. Right. Ooh, that's a velocity. Yay. Nice spin on the bullet. What the heck? <laughs> oh, he's that hit done going blown up. Oh, the, there is nothing left of that, that skull. Looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like him at some point in his life. Oh. That looks more like him now. Um, well, so, you, so you did clip the glasses. Oh, really? Okay, good, good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, was, it straight in the I was aiming half. for the glasses. The, 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 the yeah, left side glasses? Right here on the bridge yeah. of it. Oh, it's turning oh. his fucking... All the force is still... Pulling his oh. skull backwards. Here. Oh yeah, because I because I, I hit him technically on his right side, so he spawned. Yeah. Well, so the death loader didn't this. quite look. Bullets when you get shot with them, like they usually, especially if they're not just grazing you, like the round will actual the round will actually you know pull you with it. Hi, huh, buddy. Yeah. Like that, but we were also using like ballistic tip shit and uh, all. Yeah. It ignites stuff inside of his head. Right. Yo. Oh, yeah, 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 it, it does. Sparks. You see the flash. <laughs> That's probably the metal off of the... It's the radio the CIA was playing the messages uh, to. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Woo! That is Well, I believe the president is safe. Not gonna lie, I was a little graphic. That was probably a little unnecessary. But hopefully some of the stuff that we talked about today uh, dispels a few of the myths. Uh, there's a lot of... A lot of misinformation going around. A lot of people who really don't know what they're talking about, uh, weighing in and, and spreading a lot of uh, conspiracy stuff that really doesn't make sense. And you know, while stuff like this is kind of fun in a way that, you know, just I, doing science is fun, doing ballistic stuff is kind of fun. I think it does. I mean, let's be honest, we're, we're Americans. We like shooting stuff. We, we like being able to shoot stuff. It's kind of our favorite thing to it do. Does kind of go without <laughs> saying that uh, the message that we're trying to get out here today is just data trying to put right some conspiracy theories and things going around. This isn't any sort of message toward political violence. I shouldn't have to say it, but that's obviously not what we're about. That's not what we're talking about today, and that's not the point of living in the greatest country in the world. We have a constitutional republic, a representative democracy, where we're allowed to express our differences and decide together as a country at the ballot box exactly what direction we want this country to go in. That's the proper way to go about it, and if you think the alternative of taking innocent life is uh, acceptable, or that's the thing you should do, well, that's your fate. And, and a pretty reasonable one, I would say. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I know there's still like a few minutes, but that's usually just render her as credits and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And of course, you know, if you want to see the full video yourself, obviously go, go visit Brendan Herrera's channel. He, he is a much better YouTuber than I am, or probably ever will be. But hey, he's a pretty really good YouTuber when it comes to gun stuff, ballistics, all that stuff. And he makes guns for a living, so he pretty much knows what he's talking about. Uh, he actually recently just finished up his AK-50 too. That's actually really awesome. But again, don't forget to, you know, support the original channel this came from with Brenda Herrera. And, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video, guys.